Flannery O'Connor wrote a story called Good Country People, which is about um, a Bible salesman who comes to town and he um, tries to sell Bibles to this girl and she's not really interested and he kind of seduces her and everyone trusts him because he's good country people. That's the type of person he is. And um, then what he does is he um, gets her to take off her prosthetic leg um, and then he steals it from her. And the story, I guess, is about the way people are, which the way that guy was, he was an atheist that takes advantage of stupid Christian people. Um, so in the Christian church, you have, um, I guess, three groups of people. You have one, the devout group of people, like my friend who's Catholic, who always posts stuff on the internet, and this is what she said on Facebook t today. Um, there's a quote from Sister Lucia of Fatima. There is no problem, I tell you, no matter how difficult it is, that we cannot solve by the, by, pr by the prayer of the Holy Rosary. Here's another post she posted. The Rosary is a long chain that links heaven and earth. One end of it is in our hands and the other end is in the hands of the Holy Virgin. The rosary prayer rises like incense to the feet of the Almighty. Mary responds at once like a beneficial dew, bringing new life to human hearts. That's from St. Therese of Lisieux. So, um, someone like that, going against someone like the Bible salesman, would have a pretty difficult time, right? Because the Bible salesman could take advantage of them. Um, <clears throat> but, okay, so... so what I was trying to say is, okay, so there are three different groups of people in the Christian church. There's one, the devout people that are like, that are like that person who I thought she was actually somewhat smart. Apparently, I don't know, she was in honors with me during college and she, she just, she, she like is protesting Planned Parenthood. She, she's posting pictures of her outside of it. Um, she's harassing people as they're trying to go get, get like condoms and stuff. So, well, I guess she's, she's intending to harass people that are trying to get abortions. So um, that's one group. Then number two is the group of people that kind of believe it. And um, I guess they go for the community um, and they're not the extremists, um, but they still believe it. I, I guarantee you. And then number three are the people that are trying to take advantage of those people or, but the thing is, I, I, I was thinking about Ted Haggart. Ted Haggart founded uh, one of the biggest churches in Colorado called New Life Church. New Life Church, I, I went there as a kid. Um, I didn't go there all the time, but I went there sometimes with my friends. New Life Church was massive. New Life Church now has like this incredible pastor as far as teaching goes, and they have really good music, and it's like a, still a massive church. Um, and Ted Haggart founded this, like one of the biggest churches in the, in the United States. Um, it's right down the street from Focus on the Family. So um, Ted Haggart one day it turned out that he had a prostitute that was a man that he was sleeping with and doing crystal meth with. And he'd been in a relationship with this prostitute for like three years. And the prostitute came out and told everyone. Um, Ted Haggard at the time was um, campaigning against gay marriage, like actively like trying to make sure that gay people couldn't get married. He has a secret gay life. He wants to make sure that gay people that aren't paying people to sleep with them Gay people that actually have functional relationships together can't have a relationship that involves them visiting one another at the hospital because Ted Haggart is against them because the Bible is against them. Ted Haggart is, was a major religious leader in the United States. Like his church, I'm pretty sure is bigger than Max Lucado's church. So um, is Ted Haggart the atheist Bible salesman? I don't know. I think Ted Haggard's the guy that um, was raised to believe a certain thing and doesn't know how to live without believing that. Ted Haggard's kind of like me when I'm in jail and I want to pray suddenly. Um, but he's not like me because I, 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 it clicked in my head. There is no way that Joshua stopped the sun. The earth revolves around the sun. There's no way that this religion is correct. It says gay people are abominations. It says women aren't allowed to talk in church, but then we got women leaders in church. And if we're supposed to follow the, follow the Bible, because this is an authoritative text, First Corinthians is an authoritative text. I can throw out certain books in the Bible. 
I'd have no problem being like, okay, I don't need Titus. I don't need um, second, uh, second John or third John. Um, but uh, what I'm saying is, I, well, I guess, but you still would consider those authoritative texts, I'm pretty sure. But what, what, but, the, but still, no matter what 1 Corinthians is considered like written by Paul, and if Paul is divinely inspired, then we should accept that. And so what, I, what happened to me is I, I got to the point that I decided Paul, didn't never, Paul never even met Jesus. He talked to a freaking donkey or some shit. So that's what I decided because I had such a, so much of a problem with the stuff that Paul wrote. Um, <clears throat> but um, I think what I'm trying to say is um, if you think people in the government that are religious nuts – that are like that are using religion to get their agenda across. If you think that they're all the girl who's posting shit about praying with the rosary, which means stupid as stupid as it gets, I mean, because she's she's a dumb person. Like she managed to go through school, and I, I like she made it through a very difficult program that I made it through, and that means that she can do school. But she is a very, very slow person. I'm just saying, if you think that all the politicians are like just a st are just stupid because they're religious, that's not the case. A lot of like some of them are bad. Like I mean, some of them are con artists. Some of them are people that use religion to get what they want. Some of them will steal your freaking leg because they know they can sell that prosthetic leg and make a lot of money. So I think that people need a reality check. They need to understand that like. Religion exists. It allows people to control people. You guys think it's okay. Like, it's like we, we all have accepted that religion is a good thing and that if you're not religious, it's a bad thing. But I think we all need to come to a new understanding. And the understanding is that religion is stupid.